My name is Dr. Onyedika, and I'm here to teach you how to interpret test results that you find in your quantum resonance magnetic analyzer. And the topic I will be handling today is trace elements. Trace elements. One thing you need to know about trace element is that they are chemical compounds that naturally exist in soils, plants, and wildlife. And some of them are needed in body in minute quantity, while some are needed in large quantity. And so I'm going to be starting with the first parameter we have here. It is called calcium. 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 Okay. Calcium is the most abundant and important mineral in the body. Calcium is the most abundant and important mineral in the body. But one amazing thing about it is that it is difficult to absorb. It is difficult to get absorbed in the body. It is difficult to get utilized by the cells. For example, for you to effectively, for the body cells to effectively absorb calcium, vitamin D3 is very key. Vitamin D3 is very key. And that is why calcium is a very, very important mineral. Calcium is used more than any other mineral in the body. Calcium is used more than any other mineral in the body. It is vital for the formation and maintenance of strong bones. It is vital for the maintenance and formation of strong bones and teeth. It prevents bone loss associated with osteoporosis. It prevents bone loss associated with osteoporosis. It controls muscle contraction. It controls muscle contraction and relaxation and is needed for muscle growth. Is needed for muscle growth. Calcium is the main buffer that is used to neutralize acids and maintain the body pH throughout the body. It is the main buffer used to neutralize acid and to maintain proper pH throughout the body. One thing about calcium is this. Whenever the body is sick, you will, if you check the pH of the body, you will discover that the body is acidic. And so calcium, being the most abundant mineral needed by the body, is used to keep the body from being affected by acid. And so that is why whenever the body begins to get depleted of its alkaline properties, then the body will want to have a rebalancing by going to take calcium from the bones. And that is what causes bone loss, what we call osteoporosis. Now I'm going to give you the kind of symptoms. I'm going to give you a list of symptoms that a patient can experience if the result is reading moderately abnormal high, severely abnormal high, moderately abnormal low, or severely abnormal low. Okay, so if the calcium factor is on the high side, higher than normal, moderately abnormal high, it can result in irregular heartbeats. It can result in irregular heartbeats, extreme low blood pressure, extreme low blood pressure, okay? 
It can also be linked with depression. It can lead to depression. Kidney pain is also a sign of too much calcium in the body. Too much calcium in the body is generally associated with consuming calcium forms that the body is not able to assimilate. Remember I mentioned earlier on that the body cells find it difficult to assimilate calcium easily. Now, if the calcium level is moderately abnormal low or severely abnormal low, here are some of the symptoms that the patient may experience. Osteoporosis. Okay? You can also experience weakening of the bones that put the person at the risk of fracture. Okay. Calcium loss, low quantity of calcium, low amount of calcium in the body can also lead to dental problems and hypertension. Dental problems and hypertension. 